So I would go and see my father uh, doing his role in this play, and all of a sudden, uh, the whole world just sort of opened up for me, and the arts became something that I became so interested in. Art classes with Art Encounter, uh, summer arts camps with the city of Evanston. I developed as uh, an artist in so many different ways. At the Eastern Music Festival in Greensboro, North Carolina, of all places, and that was where I heard my first orchestral concert. And I remember it was Travinsky's Ride of Spring. And from that moment, I knew that I had to, to live a life in the arts. I don't remember a time where I wasn't in love with the arts. The arts have always been, for me, even as a small child, a refuge. I first fell in love with the arts watching live theater as a kid with my dad and seeing the power that stories told on stage can have over an audience. Uh, listening to my, my, my grandmother's uh, records, uh, growing up it was a lot of soulful 70s, Isaac Hayes, Curtis, Curtis Mayfield, uh, James Brown. I was exposed to it very, very early in my childhood. I grew up in Switzerland. My father was an opera singer. My mother was a concert pianist. So I was surrounded by all the art forms, and I think uh, I can't thank my parents and my childhood enough to have that exposure early on. When I was about seven, and my mother took my brother and me to a, a full symphony concert. It was Tchaikovsky's 1812. We sat on top of the kettle drums. We heard the cannons go off. It was just amazing, and I've been hooked ever since. I think art is a way of healing, bringing about community, and people who were shy like I was, art was a way for me to express myself. It's a medium to sometimes communicate uh, greater messages of our time. The arts gives us hope, and it gives us a way to look at things in different ways constantly. So it's a place, it's a watering hole for us to go ahead and share ideas, to be creative together, uh, to commune together. It really helps connect us to our inner selves and it also really helps us learn and grow as people and understand other perspectives. And the whole point of art is that it's subjective and I think they're super important for literally everyone on the planet to connect with. The arts are really the most vital tool that we have to tell our stories. I don't know that there is such thing as a social movement where the arts weren't somehow involved, if not central. The arts is very important for the community to, to have that space and to be able to process thoughts and feelings and to be able to heal. They help us connect with our feelings and our stories. They tell our stories. They make sense of the chaos of our lives. And they help us connect to the stories and lives of others. And if you imagine a world with no music, no dancing, no painting, no theater, it would be pretty gray. So to me, it's the arts that make us human.